Are you making progress towards achieving substantial wealth? Your current actions might not be contributing positively to your financial goals. To assist you in determining your situation, we've made a list of things to be careful about. Everyone's different, but if you're often doing these things wrong, you might need to change how you handle your money. In this video, we are going to discuss seven signs you will never be rich. Number one, you've accepted the paycheck lifestyle. In life, there are two main ways to earn money by running a business or getting a regular salary. For the majority of individuals, the latter option is the chosen path. Opting to trade time for a paycheck within the confines of a nine to five job holds widespread appeal for several reasons. Firstly, Securing employment is notably simpler than starting on a business venture. Secondly, traditional employment offers a range of benefits, pension schemes, and a consistent bi-weekly income, elements not commonly associated with being a business proprietor. Lastly, the trajectory of our upbringing often steers us towards seeking employment. As we mature, we attend school, select a college major, and subsequently cross our fingers for a job within our chosen field dedicating four decades or more to this pattern until retirement. Unfortunately, the educational system tends to present only one path, a predetermined route. This neglects the existence of an alternative path, option B, which involves launching one's own enterprise and striving to accumulate wealth surpassing even the most audacious aspirations. This omission is the reason why countless individuals adhere to the routine of clocking in and out of their 9-to-5 jobs, day after day, while only a handful venture into entrepreneurship, allowing the market to determine their true value. Individuals of substantial wealth recognize a fundamental truth, relying solely on a salary will never lead to attaining wealth. This is due to the inherent conflict of interest when your employer increases your compensation, it translates to diminished profits for the business owners. As human nature inclines towards self-interest, employers naturally seek to compensate their employees minimally. So, if you want to become wealthy, it's really important to move away from the usual way of relying on a salary. Number 2. You don't challenge yourself. If you remain firmly within the boundaries of your comfort zone, the path to wealth is likely to remain elusive. Sadly, many people get stuck in a pattern of relying on a normal paycheck, going to their regular job every single day, and then spending their evenings watching Netflix without doing much else. They want everything in their life to be easy and without problems, but rich people actively look for challenges. What those who have achieved financial prosperity understand is that the path to making a lot of money starts when they leave what they already know. This is the reason why entrepreneurs, especially the ones who achieve remarkable success, flourish amidst uncertainty, often stepping into the unknown with the uncertainty of their next income source. Consider the case of Jeff Bezos, one of the richest men in the world. During his 20s, Bezos occupied influential roles within prominent technology and investment firms, yet he always harbored a sense of being destined for something greater. Despite holding a senior vice president position and reaping substantial earnings, Bezos chose to challenge himself by initiating a book retailing enterprise, an endeavor that has now evolved into the global giant known as Amazon. If you're mostly focused on making everything easy and comfortable in your life, you might miss out on becoming really rich. Number 3. You don't have financial goals. Just like trying to hit an invisible target is nearly impossible, not having clear money goals makes it harder to get rich. When starting on the journey to substantial financial growth, having well-defined goals proves advantageous, simplifying the process as you chart a financial roadmap. For example, think about wanting to save a million dollars. First, you need to write down this goal and then carefully plan the steps to make it happen. Unfortunately, individuals with limited financial means encounter an initial hurdle since they often lack the clarity necessary for this foundational step. When talking about getting rich, they might want more money, but they don't fully understand what that really means. On the other hand, rich people can easily explain what they want to achieve and how they plan to do it, including when they want to reach their goals. Number 4. You focus too much on saving. Of course, it's really important to talk about how saving money is crucial, because without it, getting really rich becomes much harder. However, 
Many poor people tend to focus too much on being very careful with what they spend. The big problem is that a lot of people don't know how to make more money or don't have the ways to do it. So, when they want to save money, they usually try to spend less. However, smart wealthy people understand that this way of thinking is not enough. For rich people, it's not enough to just spend less, they also focus on making more money because cutting expenses alone won't make you really wealthy. Surprisingly, the average millionaire gets money from seven different sources, showing they care a lot about making money, not just spending less. These different methods of earning money, such as renting properties, owning companies, and investing, help wealthy individuals generate income from a variety of sources. If you really want to become rich, it's really important to spend time and effort on making money, just like you do for saving. Number 5. You overspend. Growing rich involves saving money, but if you spend more than you earn, getting rich becomes difficult. Sadly, many think making more money will solve their savings issue. But what usually happens is that when income goes up, spending also goes up. For example, when you earn $50,000 a year, a regular car is okay. But if you suddenly earn twice that amount, you might want a fancy car, and that can make it hard to save. This occurs because of not being good at controlling your finances. In school, you learn things like basic math and reading, but they don't teach you important money skills. That's why lots of people can't control how much they spend, unless their parents taught them. On the other hand, having this knowledge can help even people with low incomes become rich over time, by spending and investing wisely. So, if you want to be rich, you absolutely must avoid spending too much. Number 6. You don't invest your money. The likelihood of achieving wealth is significantly higher when you explore the realm of investment. Strategic investment stands out as a powerful method to gradually increase your financial assets, and starting this journey early offers even greater advantages. This principle is highlighted by the example of Warren Buffett, who began investing in stocks at the young age of 11 and skillfully navigated the investment landscape for decades, ultimately becoming one of the world's richest individuals. However, the importance of consistent investment isn't limited to billionaires. On an average, millionaires dedicate a significant 20% of their annual household income to investment ventures, a crucial element of their strategy for accumulating wealth. In my personal experience, I initially hesitated to enter the world of investment due to its perceived complexity. Yet, as time went on, I came to realize that the process is simpler than I initially thought. Setting up an investment account and regularly contributing to an index fund or retirement fund can serve as a commendable initial step towards achieving a level of wealth that may have once appeared unattainable. And number 7. You don't pay yourself first. We've previously established that saving money is one component of the equation for achieving wealth. However, a stumbling block for many individuals is their failure to prioritize their own needs by not making themselves the first financial priority. Upon receiving their earnings, people promptly disperse funds to various entities like landlords, credit card companies, and government bodies. This often results in them having minimal or no resources left for personal use by the end of the month. The Richest Man in Babylon, a renowned book, has popularized the concept of prioritizing self-payment as a fundamental principle for wealth attainment. The book advocates directing 10% of one's monthly income towards personal savings, facilitating gradual growth over time. To ensure consistent adherence to this 10% savings guideline, an effective strategy involves arranging automated deductions from your paycheck. Many employers offer the option to automatically divert a portion of your earnings into a separate savings account. This strategic approach ensures that the money you're saving remains somewhat out of immediate reach, reducing the urge to spend it impulsively. If you find yourself capable of saving more than 10%, it's entirely feasible to do so. Increasing the deducted amount leads to quicker progress toward your financial goals. As you might have figured out, rich people really follow this idea because not making yourself a financial priority basically means you're putting others' money goals before your own. That concludes today's video. I hope it was informative and beneficial to you. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I welcome your feedback, 
so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Lastly, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.